Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Noh Halisa Shuhada binti Abdul Razak. My ID number is TC18001. I would like to introduce my team group which is Muhammad Fatur Rahman bin Muhammad Shukum and his number ID is TC18067. Hi and Assalamualaikum. I'm Muhammad Fatur Rahman bin Muhammad Shukum, TC18067 and our supervisor is Dr. Mer Sudaw Islam. Uh, today, we would like to present about our project. The title is The Effectiveness of Activated Carbon from Bamboo Chip for Industrial Waste Water Treatment. So, for the beginning, I will pass to my partner, which is Nurhalisa Binti Abdul Razak, for the further explanation. For introduction to our project, firstly, waste water is liquid waste discharged from industrial waste that include heavy metal and toxic. It will infect the environment and residents if the nearby river water have been polluted due to the chemical waste industry. For example, the Gabon River Kuantan has been polluted due to the waste water industry. Activate carbon is used to clear waste water from industry. But activate carbon is made from chemicals that will also have a long-term effect on the population. Therefore, we have researched to produce activate carbon from bamboo chips. Because bamboo chips are a material that appears to be economically attractive and low cost, high carbon content, rapid growth, and multiplication speed. After producing activate carbon from bamboo chips, they will be tested by using water's physical and chemical parameters we analyze to assess the effectiveness of bamboo, the bamboo chips on industry wastewater in Gabon. Next, for the problem statement. Firstly, chemically activated carbon will destroy aquatic life, fish, plants, and they will destroy ecosystem. For the second problem statement is the activated carbon produced contents from chemical that require high cost. And lastly, chemical activated carbon is not environmentally friendly. The research objective for this project is firstly to identify the level of pollutant content in wastewater of Gambit industry estate. Secondly, to determine the ability of activated carbon from bamboo chip in treating wastewater. And thirdly, to compare the performance of physical and chemical activation method in treating wastewater. This research focuses on the catalyst of industrial wastewater and the effectiveness of bamboo chip activated carbon in removing heavy metals from it. Industrial wastewater samples were collected from Gaben. Physical and chemical properties of the wastewater are used to identify its catalyst. The chemical catalyst, which is the parameter of pH, biological oxygen demand, BOD, chemical oxygen demand, and metal ion, is determined through a series of experiments. In addition, physical characteristics such as leachate color, order, turbidity, and total suspended solids must be observed. The main goal of this research is to see how effective bamboo chips activate carbon at removing heavy metal ion from industrial wastewater by using chemical and physical activation method. Hi, I am Muhammad Fatur Rahman bin Muhammad Syukur. Now I'll speak about our finding on the literature review. So according to Mega Sahu on the project titled Wastewater Treatment by Effluent Treatment Plants published on 2016, the finding says that the problem associated with wastewater rest from its lack of treatments. So the challenge does is to find such a low cost, low test and user friendly method. Because of that, employees they use chemical activated carbon for industrial wastewater treatments and the price is very expensive and not environmentally friendly. So by referring to Abdul Razak Abdul Kamni on the industrial wastewater published on 2013, he says that the chemical industry are a major contributor of wastewater. Around 70% industrial waste is dumped into the water bodies. Okay, because of that, we want to produce an activated carbon from natural sources which is bamboo plus the cost is cheap and very environmentally friendly compared than chemical activated carbon existing in the market. So we are referring to Hazmi Haji Muhammad and El Sudo Epena on the project titled Bamboo Resources Conservation and, Util and Utilization in Malaysia published on 1992. He says that the older bamboo shows the better processing quality because the bamboo able and can be made into other process such as particle bars. The bamboo can produce ethanol and definitely it can be made into activated carbon. 
Okay, due to that reason, we mostly referring to Udeh and .u on the project title Production and Catalyzation of Activated Carbon from Nigerian Bamboo using the two method of activation published on 2018. The funding says that the bamboo activated carbon using chemical method of activation with zinc chloride gave activated carbon with higher surface area than the physical chemical activation method. Basically, this is our second and third objective of our project, where the first is to determine the ability of the activated carbon bamboo chip in treating wastewater, and the third is to compare the performance of physical and chemical activated method in treating wastewater. Okay, so by doing these projects, Dekni Bekle Bahiru on the project title Determination of Heavy Metal in Waste Water and their Toxicology Implication Around Estate Industrial Zone in Central Utopia, published on 2020, usually concentration of each heavy metal was higher than the permissible limit set by WHO Standard 2006 which could pose a huge threat to human health and the natural environment and in Malaysia we need to refer the standard A and standard B for the industrial wastewater effluence and we need to analyze the chemical and physical parameter for the wastewater treatment in gap bank industrial wastewater we go to the function of activity carbons so activity carbon is known as the most powerful absorbent uh, characteristic feature is its porous structure and the resulting immense surface area which may be as large as 1500 m2 per gm due to its exceptional absorption qualities activated carbon is widely used in process to purify discolor incorporate and remove odor at low cost and superior efficiency so the absorption power and rate of the activated carbon are determined by the kind of activated carbon the particle size the pore size and its distribution according to Valgrade 2000 Okay, now this is our flow charts uh, Now first we got the information about bamboo chip activated carbon and industrial waste water and then we briefing about that with the supervisor Dr. Mirosudaw Islam and then we gather further information from the internet and making the survey of bamboo chip for activated carbon absorption and then we making preparation of the bamboo chip activated carbon using chemical and physical methods and then we analyze two parameter physical parameter and chemical parameter and then we got the result and analysis and making some conclusion and some recommendation for further studies and the lastly is the thesis report writing we go to the our methodology of activated carbon first is the physical methods so the bamboo chip and their waste are obtained from the market and the kite maker and then it then been washed with distilled water in order to remove unwanted substance from it and dry under hot and under the hot sun until the water on it dry so the bamboo is then be cut into smaller pieces to make it easy for physically activated and then 500 gram of the dried bamboo sample were carbonized in a muffled furnace at two different temperature 400 and 500 celsius for three hours the carbonized material were grinded into smaller size and impregnated with zinc chloride at different weight ratio 1 2 1 3 and 1 4 so the resultant mixture were heated on a hot plate until the paste was formed so the carbon sample were allowed to cool and the wash with distilled water to a pH of 6 and then dry it and oven between temperature range of 100 Celsius to 110 Celsius for 6 hours. And then the sample were named physical activity carbon. Okay, so we go to the chemical methods. The bamboo chip and their waste are obtained from the market and the sum from the kite maker. It then be washed with distilled water in order to remove unwetted substance from it and dry under the hot sun until the water not it dry. The bamboo is then be cut into small pieces to make it easy chemically activated. The bamboo sample were chemically activated using zinc chloride and 500 gram of dried bamboo was mixed with zinc chloride solution at different impregnation ratio 1, 2, 1, 3 and 1, 4. The mixture was then heated on a hot plate to almost dryness. The activated bamboo sample were end dry and then carbonized at two different temperature, 4 to 500 Celsius for 3 hours by using muffled furnace and then grinded into powder. Part of the grinded activated bamboo carbon were washed with distilled water to a pH of 6 in order to remove activating chemical. The wash sample were dry in an oven at temperature of 110 Celsius for 6 hours and then the chemically activated carbon was formed. For, so for the boat technique, the industrial wastewater was left for each for 4 weeks and each week the chemical and physical characteristic is test to know the progress of the treatment. The parameter we use for test the effectiveness of our bamboo chips from activated carbon is using parameter for chemicals and physical characteristics. For chemical characteristics, firstly, pH parameter. 
pH is measured by electrometric pH measurement, which is the indetermination of the activity of the hydrogen ions by potentiometric measurement using a standard hydrogen electron and a reference electron. The equation for BOD is BOD equal initial DO for the D-light wastewater sample about 50 minutes after preparation. Milligram per liter minus final D DO of D the D-light wastewater sample after incubation for this. Milligram per liter and divide by dilution factor. And lastly, for parameter chemical is chemical oxygen demand, COD. Parameter for physical characteristic will be used for our test is firstly total suspended solid. The equation for suspended solid is the total of weight of filter and dish plus residue in milligram minus with weight of filter in milligram and divide by 100 and after that the answer divide by volume of sample filter in milligram and other parameter will use is color, order and turbidity. Okay, now we go to the expected result. Previous studies suggested that suitable activated carbon should be low in ash but rich in carbon and volatiles. So, bambuji ash may interfere with carbon absorption through competitive absorption and catalyze of adverse reaction. So, material with the lowest ash bambuji content produce the most active product. So, the fixed carbon content in sample changes when exposed to high temperature during the carbonation and activation. So the fixed carbon content increase steadily while volatile design with the temperature. So the result below shows the proximate and ultimate analysis of bamboo raw material into bamboo charcoal into the activated carbon. So bamboo activated carbon should have this parameter that have been analyzed by SMA Mahamin in the production of activated carbon from industrial bamboo waste published on 2010 under Forest Research Institute Malaysia. Cost estimation, the total cost is around 248 ringgit Malaysia. This is our gun check for SDP1 for this sem. And uh, you may ask a question and thank you.